first lesson, we'll introduce you to another way that notes differ from each other. Notes in music have values. Value tells us how long the note should last. We measure note length in beats. This note has one beat. It is called a crotchet. To draw it, we'll first draw a circle. Then we must colour in the circle. And a line will also be drawn upwards on the right of it. This note is a minim. It has two beats. To draw a minim, we first draw a circle, but don't colour it in, and a line will also be drawn upwards on the right of it. This note is called a semibrieve. It has four beats. It is easy to draw because it is just a circle. This note is a quaver. It has half a beat. We draw it just like a crotchet, but this time with a tail on the end of its stem. The tail curls to the right. Why are there two ways the stem can be drawn? And which way should you draw it? When we draw a note on the staff, we want it to look neat. So we don't want to see lines sticking up and down and too far from the staff. If the note is on the middle line, you can choose whether it goes up or down. If the note is below the middle line, the stem needs to be drawn upwards and on the right side of the note. If the note is above the middle line, the stem needs to be drawn downwards and on the left side of the note. Not only notes have values. In music, we can have rests. This is a break in the music when no notes are played. Rests have values too. This is a crotchet rest. It has one beat, just like a crotchet. This is a minim rest. It has two beats, just like a minim. This is a quaver rest. It has half a beat, just like a quaver. And this is a whole bar rest. It has as many beats as the bar. Let's test your knowledge so far. How many beats does this note have? Did you get two? Good job. Let's try another one. Did you get half a beat? Good job. And now, our final note. Did you get four? If you did, good job. Let's draw a minim, a two beat note. Wherever you choose to draw the note, make sure it is on a line or in between two lines. If you choose to draw it below the middle line, make sure the stem is on the right hand side and facing up. If you choose to draw your note above the middle line, make sure the stem is on the left and facing down. Now, can you draw a semi-breathe on the D on the treble clef? Have a try on your own this time. Did you draw it in the right spot? Good job.